In this session, we're going to take a look at the all-new ClickSteps functionality. But before we start working with Simple Steps for Azure 1.2, the first thing you want to do is you want to go to Tools, Color Management, go to Default Settings, and make sure that our presets are set to Simulated Color Management Off. If that is not the case, you're not going to be able to separate effectively with Simple Steps for Azure. Your color values and grayscales are not going to come back correct. First thing I want to do is go ahead and select OK here. Now looking at this logo, very often we think we need to vectorize everything. This is a good quality image to work with. If this was a destroyed JPEG image, the separations would not come out correctly. Some images you'll find are so destroyed from JPEG and compression that they really can't work in Simple Sips Raster 1.2. After working with it for a little while, you'll start to understand which images you can work with and which ones you can't just by looking at them. But this is a very clean image. There is, however, some anti-aliasing here that we can see. So when we separate this, we're going to compensate with that by going to a solid trapped or trapped solid separation for this. Now looking at this, the first thing we do is we're just going to need three colors. So to work with this, all I'm going to do is come over to the eyedropper in Simple Steps Raster 1.2 under the Click Seps tab. All I need to do at that point in time is come over here and click on the yellow and I'll select that and then just come over here and click on the green button and that will enable that in my custom color pulls. I can rename this to golden yellow and that will be my golden yellow. Now I don't want to do a hue filtered here or 100%. What I want to do is I could do a perfect spot which would be exactly that color or I can do a trap spot which is going to pull that and then trap the separation or expand it by one pixel all the way around. Next thing I want to do is set up my blue. Do the same thing here. Click here. I'll come here and click here. That's my blue. And the same thing here. I want to be a trapped spot. And we'll just rename this here to blue. Go down here to the eyedropper again. Come up here and click on my red. Come over here. Click on that. That will apply. I'm going to go with a trapped spot here also. And I'm going to go ahead and rename this to my red. Now you can see that working with Simple Steps for Aster 1.2, not only can we separate the photographic images, but we can also expedite the production artwork workflow in our business. In other words, we don't have to take this to vector. We don't have to mess around with it in photo paint. All we have to do is run it through Simple Steps for Aster 1.2, and we're going to get back perfect monochrome color separations that we can then take and separate in Simple Steps 3 with a white base instantaneously. We'll be able to go through this job literally in a matter of minutes, whereas before we might have thought we had to vectorize something like this or tried to vectorize it or send it out to get vectorized. We'll be able to see that within a very short period of time, Simple Steps Raster 1.2 will be able to pay for itself in your shop by the advantages and the way it expedites your workflow. Let's take a look at this. These are all set up here. I want to verify I don't have anything else selected and I don't want to have this and I don't want to have this. I don't want to run different things because my steps aren't going to look like right when they're finished. So it's a good idea just to look at your panels and make sure everything's set the way you want it before you start with the click steps. Looking at this, I can see that I've got everything I want. I'm going to go to a monochrome. I'm going to be grouped. I don't pull in anything else here, and I'm not pulling anything else here. I don't see any green lights on. Go back here to this panel, and I'll just go ahead and click on click steps, and we'll let that process. Now that actually took about 30 or 45 seconds to process in my system. But now you can see what we've got here. We'll zoom in and take a look. We have a perfect custom spot color pull. No other software automation system in the market relating to raster images gives you this functionality. It enables you to work in both the production realm with custom spot colors that you pick and also to separate based on the auto blends and other color blends that are pretty much industry standards for raster separation. Let's take a look at this. I'm going to ungroup this here, and we can see that what we've got here are three images set up as monochrome bitmaps. Now at this point, I'll hit Control Z, and we'll go back. I'll go ahead and minimize my Simple Steps raster, and we'll just run this through Simple Steps 3 to see how these two work together to give us a very fast workflow for color separation setup working in CorelDRAW. I'm going to go to my Color Management tab. Now this is a different product. This is our Simple Steps product. And this product is for managing and separating spot colors. So what happens is Simple Steps Raster converts raster or bitmap images, your TIFFs, your JPEGs, if they're good enough quality, etc. And it converts those to spot colors that we can then run and separate through Simple Steps and even convert those to halftones in our separations with the RIP and Simple Steps if we want to. Go back here to Color Management. I'm going to create, create
Create Selection Palette. I only had one object here. I want to lasso everything. Got all three objects selected. We'll just click on Select All. We'll go to One Click Conversion. That's been processed. Computer Separations. We're going to generate an interface for this and we'll give it a one point choke. Then we'll just simply click on Generate Separations. Now here I have my underbase tinted, excuse me, untinted. I want to hit Control C here. I'm going to go back to page one. We're going to go ahead and paste this in and just verify this. I'll zoom in and we can see here, we'll go ahead and change that to a yellow. And we can see here we have a perfect one point choke around our entire image. That would be our white base. And then we can go through the rest of our pages and see our color separations set up and ready to go with a white base. And all we have to do is output this to film on our inkjet or whatever output device we have for printing. So you can see here very quickly we started with a project and we'll go ahead and let this refresh which was a bitmap spot color image very simple but we saved ourselves the time of vectorizing it and fussing with it we just ran it right through Simple Steps Raster directly into Simple Steps 3 separate it with a white base and it's ready to go out to press. So this workflow is very powerful and something entirely new in Corel Draw because previous to this we were always thinking vector, 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 and now those days have come to an end working with Simple Steps Raster 1.2 and Corel Draw. So we'll go ahead and wrap here, and we can see how our new Click Steps functionality is going to work for your simple production logos and files like that you get supplied from your clients to really be able to expedite your workflow and giving you, for the first time in the industry, control over the ability to do custom spot color pulls from bitmap images working directly in Corel Draw.